Hi everyone, Kristen Roberts with United Way of East Central Iowa. As always, thank you for your support. You understand that United Way looks at the big complex issues in our community and we look to find creative and collaborative solutions. And we know that one of those complex issues is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Over the last eight plus months, we have taken an intense look at our own DE&I journey, assessing where we are as an organization and how it plays in the work that we do every single day. Nationwide as a system, United Ways voted last year to increase the requirements around our DE&I work. We are now required to develop, maintain, and publicly post an organization position opposing all forms of racism. We have to provide annual racial equity training for all staff and board members, and we have to develop and use racial equity as a criteria for our prospective investments within the community. We've taken this work seriously and are digging in. We understand internally we still have a journey of learning and growing, but at the same time, we also want to be playing a role in collaborating to make sure that we are helping foster a community where every person feels welcomed and supported. For example, we have partnered with the NAACP for our BOLD program. It's our Board Orientation Leadership Development Program, and its intent is to take young leaders, train them in the knowledge for them to be inserted into the nonprofit community at leadership levels and board levels. Working with the NAACP ensures that we have scholarships for people of color and that our cohort is diverse. We're also partnering with the Cedar Rapids Civil Rights Commission during the month of February for equity conversations. Every Tuesday, there will be a conversation that we are collaborating with them, and they will revolve around the topics that we focus on of education, financial stability, and health with local experts. And we're also collaborating with Ruffalo Noel Levitt's new Super 20 program. It's a program for underrepresented Iowa high school students, and it gives them access to leadership, mentorship, and the supports that they, they need. On our end, we will be helping with the service area of this program, again, focusing on those areas of education, financial stability, and health. While these are just a few examples of the work that we are doing, we know that as an organization, we still have a journey and we will continue to grow in DE&I. And at the same time, we are excited to be able to collaborate with partners in the community to help